हेलो बच्चों लेट्स रीड दिस क्वेश्चन अ प्रिज्म ऑफ रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स एंड 1 एंड अनदर प्रिज्म ऑफ रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स एंड 2 आर स्टक टुगेदर विद द गैप एज शोन इन द फिगर द एंगल्स ऑफ द प्रिज्म आर एज शोन n1 एंड n2 डिपेंड ऑन लैम्डा द वेवलेंथ ऑफ द लाइट अकॉर्डिंग टू n1 का वैल्यू दे दिया गया और यहां n2 का वैल्यू दे दिया फर्स्ट पार्ट कैलकुलेट द वेवलेंथ लैम्डा नॉट फॉर व्हिच द लैम्प रेज इंसिडेंट एट एनी एंगल ऑन द इंटरफेस पीस वी सी पास विद विदाउट बेंडिंग एट द इंटरफेस सेकंड पार्ट For light of wavelength lambda, not find the angle of the incidence i on the face AC such that the deviation produced by the combination of these is known. So let us understand the key concept for the given question. The key concept here, sir. सबसे पहला कि suppose करिए एक refracting surface है like this और यहाँ पर एक light ray strike हो रही है. This is a normal. और यहां पर दोनों मीडियम का जो रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स है वो सेम दिया गया में n1, n2 is same. If n1, n2 is is same. same, then there नेक्स्ट पार्ट फॉर मिनिमम डेविएशन फॉर मिनिमम डेविएशन वी कैन से दैट आर वन इक्वल टू आर टू इन अ प्रिज्म इस ए बाय टू दिस इस इन अ प्रिज्म नेक्स्ट डेल्टा इस टू आई माइनस ए और टू ई माइनस ए This is second concept. This is first concept. The last is Snell's law. We will use Snell's law also. That says that mu one into sine i mu two into sine. So with the help of this key concept, we will proceed further. The first part is for no deviation. N one is equal to N two. N one is given as one point two zero plus ten point eight into ten to the power four, whole divided by lambda square equal to one point four five plus one point eight zero into ten to the power four, whole divided by lambda square. So this becomes ten point eight into 10 to the power 4 lambda square minus 1.80 into 10 to the power 4 by lambda square equal to 1.45 minus 1.20. So this become 10 to the power 4 by lambda square 10.8 minus 1.8 equal to 0.25. तो डेट बिकम 10 टू पर 4 बाय लैम्डा स्क्वायर इससे आपका 9 आएगा ये और ये 0.25 को अगर हम पॉइंट हटाते हैं तो 100 तो दिस बिकम 4 सो वी कैन से दैट हियर लैम्डा स्क्वायर 4 इनटू 9 इस 36 इनटू 10 टू पर 4 सो लैम्डा इज इक्वल टू 6 इनटू 10 टू पर so lambda is equal to 600 meter. So this is the answer for the first part. 600 meter. Now, for the second part, the prism was given like this. This was the prism given. Now we will extend this part. Let's extend here, or we will draw a line here. Like this. Then we will draw a perpendicular line. Now in the question, this part is twenty, then forty. Look, here, 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 this angle is 40. So all together this becomes 60 degree. 
now this is 60 degree and this they have given as 70 degree so and this will become if this is 60 60 then this should be 60 degree then uh, all together it will become 180 now suppose a ray of light is striking at this point now this is normal line it is going like this similarly a ray of light is coming from here in a normal now let us choose this angle as i this is r1 this R2. This was a ray. Now we can see that after marking this, this is A, B, C, D. So here we can write as this A, D, B. is an equilateral triangle at minimum deviation. So from here we can say that R1 is equal to R2 equal to A by 2. Now, A is basically here angle of prism that is ADB by 2. And ADB is 60 degree, 60 degree by 2, that is 30 degree. And this is taken as R. Now, from Snell's law, you can write here as well, let it be N1. First medium is curve 1 into sin i second medium is mu and the refractive index is if we take as sigma per refractive index here we are taking as root 2 into sin r so that become as how we have taken see here we have to basically Glass prism nahi diya gaya. So, yaha, let it be like this. So, N1 e left right there. Now, we will calculate N1 first here. N1 have 1.2 plus 10.8 into 10 to the power 4. Lambda, we got lambda square that is 36 into 10 to the power 4. Let's cancel. N1 we get as 1.2 plus 0 0.3. 1.4. Now 1.5, so 1.5 is very close to 1.414. So N1 is approximately root. Therefore, sine i root 2 and r is 30 degree sine 30 degree. Root 2 by 2. Here we get as root 2 by 2. That means this becomes sine i 1 by root 2. So from here we get i as 45 degree. So the final answer for the first part calculated wavelength lambda naught is 600 meter, and the final answer for the second part is angle of incidence is 45 degree. Hope you understand it well. All the best.